Here is the box. And within the box, we've got lots of packing material. Underneath the packing material, voila, CDs. Now I'll come around here so you can see some of these titles. Lisa Stansfield. Simply Red, Santana, Rush, more Santana. Let's see, what else we got? We got U2. What's underneath? Sparks, you ever heard of them? Spin Doctors, Soul For Real, Snap. Remember that, that popular song <laughs> back in the day? We have Tina Turner. We have Yaz. I'm sure you remember Yaz. You too again. James Taylor, of course. More James Taylor. We got Rod Stewart here. Simon and Garfunkel. Seal. Let's see. Justin Timberlake. And one more. Let's see what's under that. Best of the Thompson Twins. There's 122 CDs in here. And as you can see, just off the top, they are all well-known albums, mostly from the 80s, 90s, and some from the 2000s, but mostly uh, the 80s and 90s. And uh, this is the kind of thing that I sell in a lot on eBay. I've sold many times, probably, I don't know, over 20 times, probably more than that, probably a couple dozen times. Um, these all came from a, a Gaylord, a big bulk buy. So whether you're getting whether you're getting a bulk buy or you're buying bulk in pallets or Gaylords or you're getting donations or just looking online and buying them off of people locally, this is a great way to make money or monetize the magic word monetize these types of titles i had it listed for i believe 79.99 of course plus shipping they have to pay for shipping it's rather heavy it ended up being just about 20 almost 29 pounds a little under 29 pounds but um i had it listed for 79.99 plus shipping i listed it maybe within the last month to a month and a half and um well let me bring it down here because i've been cutting off my head while i make the videos i think that's getting all of me anyway um and uh it yeah it took, didn't take that long maybe you know four to six weeks what ended up happening is it sold because of a promotion that i ran or rather a um i think it was the offers that i sent out to people that had that were watching some of my items i sent out mm, yeah close to 100 offers a couple days ago what is today today is wednesday so on monday yes monday because yesterday i had a good amount of sales that came in the previous night two nights ago and in the morning because of that it's one of the best ways to make sort of instant almost instant really quick sales is to send out offers to to eligible eligible buyers um i would recommend doing it weekly if you have enough if you have a big enough inventory but that's a great way to try and uh, sell some of your inventory off on ebay so it sold for less than that it sold for 56 dollars and change plus shipping of course so after i did the calculations i used the calculator that i used for ebay to make start to see how much profit i made i ended up making about 46 dollars off of the sale that's pure profit so that's after uh, paying for shipping and um, all the fees, right? So eBay fee, it was off of a promoted listing. So that was a 2% fee. It was about 46 bucks. Um, again, it's 122 items. So that's, you know, sold for $56. So that's a little, a little less than uh, 50 cents, maybe like 45 cents or so per disc. Um, so maybe 40 cents ish per disc, uh, in terms of the pure profit. So for me, that's great because I've gone through tens of thousands of CDs and I've realized that 
certain ones that are um, very popular, very well known, people still want to buy them at a low price, but they're willing to pay for them. And I've sold them for more. So, you know, that 78 or that $80, I priced it le much less than a dollar a piece because they're 122. It's so always priced it way less than a dollar a piece, but it's still leaving some room because I have sold some for that price that I asked versus some people come in and make offers. I always uh, have the offers on. Uh, so people do come in and make offers, but I do sell them for that top price as well. So it kind of varies. Um, it just so happens that I sent out those uh, those offers to people. I think it was 25% off. Um, and it came in and I was happy. It's, you know, I, I also, it doesn't take up much space because I pre-box it. I have it ready to ship. So when it sells, I can just pull it and, you know, print out the label and, and, and send it off. Um, so this is a great way. Again, if you're, if you're doing bulk, uh, if you have a lot of CDs, if I was personally, if I was doing only CDs or doing tons of them, if I had a big bulk operation and I was trying to figure out ways to monetize all these kind of CDs, I would combine loose CD lots with these because the loose CD lots, like I showed you before, I did an auction for six over 600, 620 loose music CD lots. And I did a, uh, an auction, a seven day, it was either seven or 10 day auction. And it got bid all the way up to around 75 bucks, which is great uh, because 620 CDs is not a very big, <clears throat> very big box. It's not that heavy. Um, you know, this is almost 30 pounds and it's 122 CDs, but of course it's got the jewel cases and all the artwork. But I think it's a good way, a good way to, to monetize all of these, you know, duds in the sense of you can't sell them individually on Amazon unless you're a massive, massive mega seller uh, or eBay. You know, unless you're unless you own a company that's doing uh, that has multiple giant warehouses and is essentially like a mini Amazon on Amazon, you're not going to be able to sell these individually. So how can you monetize them? <clears throat> a lot of them I, I'm not even going to put in my store because I already have a copy. Um, or, uh, you know, I, it's mostly, I already have a copy because a lot of these, like that Tina Turner, the Yaz one, those U2s, uh, the Rod Stewart, you know, I've seen those <laughs> hundreds of times. So you come across certain ones and you can sell them, you know, just lot them up, put them together on eBay and get decent money. So if I was doing mostly CDs or just CDs and I was getting big pallets, going through a ton of them to, to put up on Amazon and eBay to sell. A great way, you know, is to have someone pulling all these to the side and just, you know, certain certain CDs um, like these, they tend to be more popular, more well-known. I would put them in a, in a lot like this um, and sell them off that way. And you could have a bunch of them. You could have dozens of them. Uh, and also, of course, the loose CD lots is a great way to go. But these tend to take... I would say a month, two months at most, three months to sell. They usually don't take six months or anything like that. If you price them correctly and you take offers, at least that's what I do, they sell within one to three months. I would say closer to two months on average, which isn't that long. But if you have, you know, 10 of them going at a time, you could be selling one or two every month, maybe more um, on it, in addition to doing loose CDs. Another question might be whether or not <clears throat> the cases should be replaced, um, whether it matters if the cases are cracked, if they're in horrible condition, that kind of thing. So <clears throat> I don't think it's necessary. In the past, I have replaced all of the cracked cases, but I don't think it's necessary to replace all of them unless something is really beat up. You know, if, if the case is just shattered or there's... Uh, you know, big, long cracks all the way through it on one side that just is not is not so great. <laughs> doesn't look very appealing. I would replace those. But a little crack here, a little crack there, I don't think it matters. Um, of course, the artwork should be there. It should be in decent shape. If it's wet, if it's damaged, if it's stained, if it's torn, uh, I probably wouldn't sell it. All of this has the artwork in great condition. You know, good, good, great condition, very good condition. All the discs, I make sure that they are in great shape. Um, I resurface some of them. 
I won't bother trying to resurface one of these if the CD surface is too far gone. I will just put that in a loose CD lot and uh, sell it that way. But most of these were already, the, the CDs were already in, in pretty good shape. So I only had to resurface a small percentage of them. Um, so that's another thing. If you don't have a resurfacing machine, then I would just, just don't bother with the ones that are too far gone. If there's light wear, it's probably not that big of a deal. So keep that in mind as well. Um, you know, when you're trying to figure out if you're going to do something like this or um, a loose CD lot. The other thing is, you know, sometimes I will put, so as I'm going through a bunch of CDs, I will put aside all the ones that I think would make sense in this kind of lot. And then I'll often t find that, oh, I've got three or five or six of the same um, artist or group. And if I have enough based upon what the artist is, who the artist is or group, I can put them together as an individual lot. Like if I have six Madonna CDs or five Mariah Carey's or five Whitney Houston's or, you know, uh, U2, if I have, you know, seven U2 CDs, then I'll probably just pull those and, and sell those separately because you can make more money that way. Um, and then just fill it with other, other CDs with different artists or groups. So keep that in mind as well. So I thought you might like this, guys. I think I've talked about it before a little bit, but I don't know if I made a video entirely about this topic. But this is not something I've been doing a ton of because I haven't got a ton of CDs. But when I do get a, a bunch of them at a time, like I have one more Gaylord to go through that looks like it has CDs mixed in. Uh, I already put aside about 50 from another Gaylord. So I'll combine those two and make another lot and see how that one goes, see how that one does. Um... But yeah, the more well-known stuff that people recognize, the better. Whether it's oldies stuff, whether it's 90s or 80s, mix it all together. Just, you know, I say mixed genre, you know, music CD lot, something like that. So yeah, so try it out. See if it works for you. Um, again, it really only makes sense if you're getting a lot of CDs in for reselling. And you've got a lot of excess stuff. If you're just cherry picking, of course, it doesn't make any sense. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, give it a thumbs up, please. That does help. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, ask a question, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Take care.